Now we talk about the cruise roller, a very large bag to fit your entire equipment. As you can see, this is a very, very large bag. Actually, I'm kidding. Of course, it's a very small one, but this is because now it is uh, folded away so that you can stow it without taking up too much space. But uh, if you open it up by releasing the two Velcros, you get really a full-size bag. So this is the bag when you unfold it. It ends up uh, being able to carry 130 liters of volume and all of this under three kilograms of uh, weight, of course, when it's empty. You can see it is a very large bag and will fit your entire kit of dive equipment. Now you'll see the bag in, a, in all of its splendor. It's a rather large bag. Will easily contain all of your diving kit. In the back, we can see that we're using very sturdy materials, especially at the lower half here. And uh, notice the wheels. We have a very large wheelbase. This is very important for stability because the last thing you want is while you're uh, running through an airport to have the bag wobble on you and make you fall maybe. For those times when you prefer to carry the, the bag on your shoulders, we open this zipper, which will re reveal the shoulder pads. These you would insert into these lower buckles here, and the transformation is complete. You can adjust them. They're nicely padded, so very comfortable. At the top, we see we have a little compartment for a card that identifies the owner, like your business card. We have a soft handle for those small movements we have to make once in a while. But this soft handle, which is anyway very sturdy, coupled with this other handle in the back, as you can see here, allows you to easily, for instance, take it off of the uh, conveyor belt at the airports or putting it into uh, the trunk of a car. One other purpose for this, uh, for the handle in the, on the bottom is that when you stand the bag up, it gives you a very nice and sturdy base so that between the wheels and the handle, the bag is nice and flat. On the front, we see two large straps that serve two functions. One is they allow you to compact the bag a little bit by cinching it down. But the other purpose, not to be neglected, is that they relieve the pressure from the zippers. We have a grand total of five pockets on this uh, bag. We have two small ones in the front, one on each side, and then one big one, which is the main compartment. As you can see, we also have some drains on the sides to let some water out. But let's look at the detail of the pockets, the two ones in the front. They are meant for all those objects that should not get in touch with the wet diving equipment, like some your logbook and uh, travel documents and things like that. Same thing here at the top. Just relatively big segment here of the bag. All the zippers, by the way, have either pull tabs or these nice rings that allow you to operate them very easily. The side pockets obviously are for the fins, one on each side. The main compartment is huge is made with very bright and water resistant materials. And we have two straps that allow you to secure the material so that when you're traveling, it doesn't get uh, pushed around too much. One nice additional feature we have is that on the front flap, we have a small checklist so that you can, you know, while you're packing your bag, getting ready, with all the excitement of the, uh, of the trip that you don't forget to bring your mask, for instance. Cruise roller, a nice 130 liter bag that doesn't get in the way when you're not diving. Mm -hmm.